Hey Vancouver, hey YouTube, welcome to another two for two video and today's topic is ticket scams. From my experience, I've purchased many tickets over the internet, either on Craigslist, Ticketmaster or other legitimate websites. I haven't been scammed yet, so I've been pretty good at spotting fake tickets. I've bought concert tickets, I've bought live show event tickets, I've bought comedian tickets, comedy show tickets, I've bought oh, what's called weekend passes for music festivals. Usually on Craigslist, meeting people in real life, paying cash, you know, doing the transfer kind of thing. And you know Ticketmaster, you can pay using e-transfer or money transfer and get Get your tickets electronically transferred from the seller's ticket master account to the buyer's ticket master account so it's legitimate so i got a story last week wednesday january 24th 2018 adam sandler and guests were in town to the orpheum theater to do a live show live comedy show and i've watched adam sandler movies when i was tiny well when i was younger i wanted to get tickets and i didn't want to pay the 130 dollars regular price for them i wanted the last minute tickets that I try to get for concerts or shows that I'm on the fence about. I go on Craigslist like I usually do. I search Craigslist. I see one ad catches my eye, $85 each ticket. And remember, these are regular price, $130. But I'm thinking I'm getting a sweet deal for this. So I look in the ad and there's a number, 778 number. Area code 778 is a local area code here in Greater Vancouver. I text the number, interested in one Adam Sandler ticket. Not even two minutes later, the person texts back. Hi, I can do a single section R, row 19 lowers for $85. Just provide full name and email if you want them and I'll email them to you shortly. You can send an e-transfer upon ticket, receipt and provide the password after the entry to the show. Thanks. Send my name. First and last name, and then I sent my email address. They text back, sending in five minutes. I go, okay. They sent one ticket, PDF, and this is Ticketmaster. I'm assuming this should be Ticketmaster transfer. It wasn't. It was a PDF attached to an email. And right after that, they said they sent the wrong one, so they sent another one. And take a look at the time stamps on these text messages. 7.36, the show's already started. Eight o'clock, please update us, need e-transfer ASAP. It was kind of sketchy. I was just like, hmm, what's going on here? Why would someone send tickets before they even get paid? Remember, these tickets can only be used once. So one entry, if it's already been scanned, the ticket, the next person with the same copy of that ticket will not be allowed into the venue. Just wait and do that now. Sent in a few minutes back. E-transfer took a bit of time, thanks. E-transfer doesn't take that much time, maybe half an hour at most. I was looking for something more sneaky. I gotta send them a fake e-transfer email, change the selector bank to deposit this e-transfer with a link to a malware infected website. Yes, there is actually a website on the internet that has a list of all the websites that are infected. It's a database. I know it's crazy, it's scary, don't click on those links. There's no screenshot for the uh, password I sent and I usually send passwords in a text file attached to the email. It's a little bit more secure, but email's not secure at all. So FYI for people out there. But this text file that I attached with the password in it is actually not really a text file. It's actually a live virus that I downloaded off another website which I'm not gonna put a link in the description just because, you know, I created a virtual machine, I put like Linux on it. I went to the live website and downloaded the virus, renamed it to password.txt, attached it to me email and sent it off. So the next text message from this person was at 7 a.m. in the morning, next day. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you send a ticket and not get your money for it? Okay, maybe the person's not here locally. Maybe they're somewhere overseas or somewhere else. I did some research online. I did a reverse lookup on the 778 number and I found out the number was a VoIP line and the provider of this VoIP line is in Toronto. So I'm assuming this person lives in Toronto set up a line for their number to connect with the 778 number here in Vancouver locally for the reason to scam people in Vancouver. The next day, 7 a.m., the text, excuse me, what are you trying to do? Send me a virus? Send the e-transfer ASAP or we're opening an investigation shortly. What the hell? You're gonna open an investigation for $85? You've already sent me the ticket? Here's why I play dumb. I sent you e-transfer. I think my computer's infected with a virus. Do you know how to clean it? You didn't send us an e-transfer or the password, the e-transfer you sent us is a virus. E-transfers are sent through your online banking and never appear like that. So this person was smarter than the average scammer. Ensure to send an e-transfer ASAP. Send, please send it from your phone directly within your online banking account. Use Password Canada. That is what I did. It's like a really bad uh, relationship, eh? One person's angry and you know sending massive texts and I reply with a single line of text. I hate that when that happens, I really do. Don't ever do that. If this is a genuine mistake, then yes, you are definitely infected with a virus. I believe it's the cy I think he spelled it wrong, cyber ransomware. Google it to find out how to clean it. FYI, if it's a ransomware, I won't be able to clean it unless I have backups. 
on my computer because ransomware you gotta pay a ransom to actually get your files back ransomware encrypts files i could do another two for two video for that i should do more tech two for two videos can you help i'm not so good with computers i'm good with computers please resend the e-transfer asap either from your cell phone or from another computer to establish this was a genuine mistake then we will try and help you with this genuine mistake so you're going to help me after i send the e-transfer you understand that this is after the show's over the show was last night 7 30 p.m the text the person sending me now next day why do you still want your money you've given the tickets away they're really gonna go and sue me for 85 dollars tickets that you gave away you didn't do it legitimately anyway uh ticket master transfers i don't feel safe with my computer infected with a virus can we meet in person I can give you cash. Now available for cash pickup. He's not local. This is why we asked you to send it from a cell phone or another computer. Ensure you do so ASAP. Thanks. So 7.15, 7.44 AM. Need an update on this ASAP. Thanks. Can this virus affect cell phone too? Shit. I'm a good actor on text. Don't know. It seems unlikely. Please try a different computer, if anything. ASAP. Thanks. This person likes ASAP. ASAP. I don't have another computer. We'll have to wait until I can bring this computer to a shop to get fixed. Can you do it from your phone? Just make sure you don't do it from within your online banking. Nope. Won't let me open any web pages. Who knows that due to the timing of the e-transfer, we assume it was sent from your phone. Instead, please try and send from your computer ASAP. We really can't wait this long. It was due yesterday. Or get a friend to send it. Thanks. It was not sent from my phone. It was sent from my computer. My computer can't get to any websites. Everything is a virus. You know. Notice the bad English. How did this happen? I think I have to reset my computer and phone. Okay, please reset, try and send ASAP. Thanks, 10.45 AM, last text message from the scam. I don't think this person's asking me for their $85 back. I never went to the show because I'm absolutely sure those tickets will not get me in. You can't really change the name on the tickets when you order them from Ticketmaster. Does the name of the tickets appear on the name as your account and your credit card, FYI. For the people in Vancouver, for the people on YouTube, just watch out when you're searching on Craigslist. Something's too good to be true, it most likely is too good to be true if you have any questions i'm a professional computer tech consultant just send me a dm and as always share like subscribe m square out all right and a search for that 778 number on craigslist shows up a lot of results 20 to be exact tickets from birdman live Whist whistler lift tickets lights canucks tickets choir tickets passport kit general admission tickets commodore so you guys be careful out there